Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and today I wanted to do a what I eat in a day and share with you um, the types of recipes that I have used to lose over 50 pounds on a plant-based diet and I had lost 20 pounds previously for a total of over 70 pounds. So if you're interested in what I'm doing for the Start Solution meals, then just continue to watch and let's get to it. Just want to take a minute to say I'm blown away by reaching this milestone and I feel all the good vibes coming my way and wanted to take this opportunity to just say thank you. So you want to pit about 10 to 12 fresh cherries and you may want to use frozen but I decided to use fresh because they are in season right now and super sweet. Use about a third of a lemon and give it just a light squeeze. Add in a tablespoon and a half of date syrup or maple syrup and this will add in just enough sweetness. Then you just want to add in a light sprinkle of corn starch and a scant quarter cup of water. Go ahead and turn the temperature down to low after it comes to a boil and break up the cherries a little bit with your utensil just to kind of help them cook uh, down a little bit more. Go ahead and squeeze the remainder of the lemon from earlier into a little bowl and use a teaspoon of stone ground mustard and a little bit of date syrup to sweeten this up and this is going to be used for a dressing to drizzle over the greens that I'm going to eat with breakfast. myself a favor this week and I got steamer bags for all of my breakfast so that I can just throw in the microwave and go before work so hopefully this is going to be a lot more convenient so maybe this might be something you'd want to try and then I'm just going to add some garlic salt and then drizzle the dressing that we made earlier right on top of the greens and this makes it so delicious and so good So I'm going to go ahead and start out with the dressing and I want to just go ahead and say that this is not my favorite dressing but I decided to go ahead and include it in the video anyway because this is actually what I ate. I think it could have been a little bit sweeter and I would have liked it better so you might want to keep that in mind and tweak it to your own taste if you decide to try this recipe. So I ended up using a half of an avocado and the juice of two limes. I 
add in about a quarter cup of cilantro and a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. A tablespoon of stone ground mustard. Pepper to taste. And a dash of garlic coconut aminos. and a half cup of water. And then you just blend this up and it's gonna make a nice really thick dressing and you do want to blend this for a couple minutes until it's really smooth and creamy otherwise it might be chunky and not so good at all. Then I like to make a, a salad for a few days ahead of time, so I'm going to take a big handful of each of the different types of lettuce greens that I have and just put it into a big bowl so that I can have this prepared and ready for a few days ahead. So this is a sweet leaf blend in my hand and this is arugula and another blend and baby kale. I just like to try to mix the greens up so that you get different nutrition. And then I also like to take a pair of scissors and cut this up into a lot smaller pieces so that it's easier to eat whenever I go to eat my salad. And it just makes it so much better in my opinion. So you can do what you want to, um, but I like to do that, like I said, a couple days ahead and into small pieces to make it easier. You can see at this point I had tasted the dressing and I thought that it needed to be sweeter so I'm adding in a little bit of date syrup so that it will sweeten it up and I liked it much better after I did that. So now I'm just getting ready to go ahead and fix my actual salad and I have everything already cut up. I've got some celery, radish, cucumber, green onion, carrot, broccoli, cauliflower, and it's all ready in glass jars to go on top of the salad. I'm also gonna add in some grains and I had some brown rice, which I'll always have cooked, already made so that it helps round out this meal. And whenever you keep it in the glass jars like this, it makes it extremely convenient for you to be able to just throw your salad together and go, especially if you're gonna bring this for lunch to work in the morning, or you just need to have something quick ready to go because you're a busy mom or any other reason that you might need to have something so quick, this is the ticket. I just like to add a little bit of extra red wine vinegar to it for some extra punch and flavor. That's just my personal choice. You can do whatever you like. And then I'm going to top it off with some cilantro and green onions. And it makes one fabulous salad. Let's just go ahead and dive right in. I can't wait to show you this recipe. Not chicken spaghetti is one of our favorite. So you're just going to go ahead and make a sauce for this. And it's going to take a couple of big carrots. And I did weigh out the uh, potatoes to, so that you would know how much was in there. And this is 16 ounces of potatoes. And then you're also going to cut up an entire small onion and put it in a pot of water. And we're going to bring that pot of water to a boil. And then whenever we are boiling the water, I also steam about a quarter head of cauliflower um, so that it all cooks at one time. Okay. 
one key to this sauce is that you want to make sure that the cauliflower gets really soft and maybe slightly overcooked so that whenever you go to blend this up that it is super smooth and creamy um, so that is the trick that I use uh, in order to do that And then I'm going to add three quarters cup of water of, that we cook the vegetables in right into the blender and this is going to contribute to mixing it up well and making it creamy. As the seasoning, this has one teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and a quarter cup of cashews, and a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. And you're just going to pour that right in there with the rest of the uh, the vegetables and then blend this for you know two to three maybe five minutes until it's nice and smooth and creamy just keep blending it until it is not chunky at all so the cashews add a little bit of fat to this which I think truly helps this recipe um, because the original recipe has lots of cheese and a cream of mushroom soup and this just adds to it but if you're trying to be a uh, nut free then you can totally take this out or use less it's your call your decision um, but personally I think that it makes this taste so good and you're not really getting that much fat in it because it's being diluted with all of the other vegetables that is in the sauce and I added a little bit more water. Just do what you need to do in order to get it to the consistency that you want it. Okay, so the sauce is complete and I'm gonna show you how creamy it is. I'm gonna set it back up there until I'm ready to use it. And now I'm cooking some jackfruit in some water, sprinkling some Creole seasoning on it. Um, this is gonna be used as the chicken replacer. And then you're just going to go ahead and take the noodles that we cooked earlier, pour the jackfruit right on top of it. And the jackfruit, you probably cook for about 10 to 15 minutes just till it tenderizes and starts to kind of shred apart. And then pour um, the desired amount of cheese sauce that you want into the dish and then a can of Rotel and mix this all up really well. And I do end up adding another can of Rotel, but we like it spicy, so it's your call. And look how delicious and creamy this is going to be. Got to get it in the oven, and we're going to cook it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and it'll come out nice and bubbly. Look how delicious and yummy this is. I wish you could smell this through the video. And if this was one of your favorite recipes before going plant-based, you are going to love this. It is hands down one of our treasured recipes. And I hope that you truly enjoy this if you get to try it. And I'm just gonna garnish mine with a little bit of cilantro. And I just have a side dish of steamed French green beans for my non-starchy vegetable portion of this 50-50 plate. And I hope you enjoy this as much as we do.